motherfucker, fucking Trump. I take you, take you down, stick you up your ass. Hi, hi. <laughs> ah, Trump. <laughs> Trump's tariff backfired, pal. Mark Scotty reporting on Trump's backfiring tariff. <laughs> If you knew Chinese were going to kick back, right? You think the Chinese are going to just take that shit sitting down? <coughs> Hell no, man. If you tariff them 25%, they come back with some shit, right? So the markets are taking a hit right now. Dow's, Dow Jones down. Pow! Four, 540 points already. It's not even 10 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock. <laughs> Good move, Trump. Trump's the genius. Trump is the, is the economic genius, right? It's fucking... First of all, let's look at this. All right, right here. So here's the chart, right? Today, today the Dow is down 540 already this morning. But I always like to look at the the reference, right? Because this is 2009, right? See this over here? This is the dip in 2009. We're looking at the Dow Jones right now, right? So it it crashed. <clears throat> here's when the fears of Obama. He didn't know what he was doing. The market crashed. Uh, it's going to change everything, and then they realize, oh, there's no change at all, right? And it just kept going, 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 going. So Trump gets in right here. You've got a peak, a drop, another peak, a wild drop. That was the drop right around Christmas time. Everybody thought that was the end of the world, right? But then it rebounded, and we went almost right to the top again. And now we have this we have this scenario right here. See this limp dick right here? Whoop, bada, whoops, a baby, right? It tried the top and failed, right? That's that's the deal, right? It tried the top. Now the story is China, right? Right now, but it's also the the other story. The story why it, it, it did this is remember Trump said we're going to pull out of Syria. Ah, military industrial complex says what? No war. Blah, 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 blah. Sell, 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 sell. And it went all the way down. He said no, no, no. I was only kidding. And it went right back up. Right? Fucking Trump's figuring out that his words have power in the markets. Right? So right now that that it seemed like. I'll just make a speculation that that uh, Trump Trump's trade deal with China seemed to have been a, a orchestrated oligarchical plan to whack the market right at the top. So, if you want to be savvy, if there's savvy traders in the audience, look at watch what Goldman Sachs is doing. If Goldman Sachs is selling here, and the banks are selling short, right, then you know they're unloading and. Again, I had called the target. I said the target would be right around here for the election, 2020, and then it would probably come down even further, right? Maybe to maybe try this top right here. It would try these tops and then come down. So I'm still, I mean, I still hold, I may, the the time frame may be a little longer, but I say that that's, um, it's a, eventually it's going to come back down to right here. So. So anyway, so what's going on in China? China, China, hiya, hiya, ho, hiya, 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 fuck you, I'll kick your ball kick. I give you a ball kick. <laughs> so Tyler Durden and, and um, Zero Hedge. Let's look at some of the goodies. So markets tumble as China unveils retaliatory tariff, right? So last uh, fr on Friday, a few days ago, Trump said, "We take your tariff. We take your tariff. Fifteen percent. We make twenty. We make it twenty-five percent." Chinese say, "Fuck you, fuck you. No, no, Trump. Ah, you think you're slick, Trump? You think you're slick?" Yeah, so, they, so, right? but he says, "May dump treasuries." The Chinese. <laughs> uh, Trump is a jackoff. He's a ja He's a. He's a. He's an idiot. He's an idiot. He's playing into someone's hand, right? He's playing in the, the saying on, it's Goldman Sachs, really. Again, I've always said it, right? The Goldman Sachs guy. How is Goldman Sachs running on Treasury? Because he got Steve Mnuchin. He's the, he's the Goldman Sachs guy. He's trained and he's a product of Goldman Sachs. Right? And Trump makes him the Secretary of the Treasury. Very foolish, right? But anyway, here we go. So after vowing over the weekend to, quote, never surrender to external pressure, Beijing has defied President Trump's demand that it not resort to retaliatory tariffs and announced plans to slap new levies of $60 billion in U.S. goods. <clears throat> so we hit them for $200 billion. They, they came back with $600 billion of our stuff. $60 billion of our stuff. $200 billion of theirs, $60 billion of ours. But there's more to it. China 
is a uh, has a lot of treasuries. If they start hitting the treasury market, everything is going to watch. <laughs> you think the <laughs> kiss your assets goodbye, right? That's what I say. <clears throat> so China says uh, to raise tariffs on some U.S. goods from June first. <clears throat> Excuse me. China says to raise tariffs on sixty billion of U.S. goods. Good. China says to raise tariffs on. I don't know why they keep saying the same thing over and over again. To raise tariffs on 2,493 2, U.S. goods to twenty five percent. Oh well. You know what I fear, right? Just as a c- customer, right? We have in New York City. I don't know if you guys have it around the country, but we have ninety nine cent stores, right? Like you can go into, like for example, like I I bought a box of. I bought a box of uh, envelopes, right? See these envelopes? Right, now, if you go into Staples, envelopes, 50 envelopes could be like seven ninety five, right? But in New York, the 99 cent store, thanks to the, uh, thanks to the Chinese, you see, see the price tag? $1.99, right? You get all this for $1.99, right? And that's, I mean, that's how you live in New York. You, you just, you hit the 99 cent store. Everything is, ah, 99 cents. Or a dollar forty nine, or you know, you go to the what we have is ninety nine cent stores, right? So, um, and it's all loaded with it's run by you know run owned and operated by Fujianese Chinese and uh, and uh, you know they speak Chinese in there, right? So it's where all the product comes from. So they're gonna take a hit, right? They're gonna take a hit, but they're just gonna no more ninety nine cent. Now it's gonna be uh, two ninety nine, right? Three ninety nine for the same shit. All right, thanks, Trump. Doing, doing good. Good job, man. China may reduce Boeing orders. Oh, damn. Are you watching Boeing? Watch Boeing. Watch Boeing stock. Let's watch Boeing stock. Oh, shit. How's that, how's that reacting today? Boeing. ba ba boom ba bing ba bong <laughs> Let's watch just one day, five day. Ah, bah, look at that shit. So it opened down Boeing just on the, just on the announcements. See how the news moves the stock, right? So this morning it was three fifty four, yesterday, and then and then it opens, bang hits ten ten uh, eleven points on the open down. What else? Global crude oil additional tariffs do not uh, do not include crude oil. China raised tariffs on LNG liquefied natural gas to twenty five percent, starting June first. China has announced announcement comes after the White House raised tariffs on some 200 billion in Chinese goods to 25 percent from 10 percent on Friday. There's a break. There's a breakdown of how China will impose tariffs on 200 2,493 goods. The new rates will take effect at the beginning of next month, and this is how they're going to do it. In further bad news for American farmers, China might stop purchasing agricultural products from the U.S., reduce its orders of Boeing planes, and restrict service trade. <laughs> ah, you'll fight. You'll fight us. We fuck you. We you'll fuck you. Fuck you. There's also been talk about the PBOC could start dumping treasuries. I don't know what PBOC is. But when they start dumping treasuries, that is the worst news of all of this stuff. Because it goes into the billions and trillions that China holds our treasuries. They buy, you know, they buy our debt, right? The U.S. wants to raise some money. They sell treasuries. China steps in all over the world. Saudi Arabia has it like like 6%, 7% of the float. Uh, so China st- China starts dumping their treasuries. U.S. dollar tanks, right? And, and uh, it probably will strength, strengthen the yen. Could also have the effect of strength. strength I just... <laughs> I just read it as 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 I was saying it as I read it, which would so if they start dumping treasuries, in addition to pushing U.S. rates higher, could also have the effect of strengthening the yen, the Chinese currency. Though, if China is going to dump treasuries, will they also dump U.S. stocks in real estate? Question mark. You bet your ass they will. Right? They're not going to take the hit. You hit them. The see, this is stupid, stupid trade. This is we will go went from bad trade to ridiculous trade, right? It the corporations, right, are the problem. It's not fucking China. Raise the tax on the corporations. Stop giving them tax breaks. Stop giving them uh, thirty-eight billion dollars in welfare every year. They're zombie corporations. They're not, they can't survive on their own. God damn it, right? 
It's it's just it's just backwards economics, right? That's that's what Trump will be remembered for. Backwards, backwards ass economics, back kick. China may stop purchasing US agricultural products. Good. So now now you know, Monsanto's gonna get hit. They can't they're not gonna buy your stupid beans and your stupid genetically altered crap. Uh, uh, many Chinese scholars are discussing the possibility of dumping U.S. treasuries. Uh, Hang Zing, Hang Hai Hu Zing said that. Uh, what else? Constructive talks ramp up. So what's the stocks? Right, stocks are now getting crushed. We just saw the the latest in the Dow. What's this market over here? Yen crashed. Wait, wait, wait. Well, that's stocks. The yen. Hmm. Caught cold of the yen is going down. I thought it was supposed to go up. Anyway, gold, gold is escalating. Look at that run in gold, right? You got a spike in gold. Right. What else? 30-year 30 year, 30 year bond. There it is. Bang on the on the announcement. Right? Wham! Dump. Right? It's suddenly it's cheaper just on that announcement. Uh, blah, 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 bomb. So there you go, man. There's not much to talk about here. So China, so China's China's kicking back. China's throwing a ball kick from behind, uh, and uh, you know a little cunt kick, <laughs> ball kick, ball kick, ball kick. It was a ball kick. Trump's ball, Trump caught a ball kick from China for uh, trying to impose some kind of tariff. Now is it? What is, does Trump know what he's doing? Does Trump know what he's doing? No, it's politics. He's doing political things, right? He's trying to trying to create the illusion to his many, many blind voters that say, you got to do something. He hasn't done anything, right? No, he didn't build a wall. He didn't lock her up. He didn't do anything. He's a fucking moron, right? So now now China, you remember he says he's going to, he's going to, China, China, he's going to squeeze China. China, they're taking advantage of us. China, 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 right? Well, you don't know what you're doing, right? Chinese people, the Chinese economy, they're very, very smart, very savvy. They know what they're doing, right? They're not gonna they're not gonna take your stupid hit, right? So it may be the days of the 99 cent, you know, the 99 cent products, right? Now we'll see inflation, right? Now now it'll be things will get even worse, right? Now you'll have to buy from staples and you'll have to buy from the oligarchs. See, see how how big business gets stronger and they rape you even more, but because now they, they not only they can't compete with the competitor, so they create a trade war, a fucking war. Right? It's stupid. It's just stupid, stupid politics. Marcus Conti reporting. Become a Patreon of this channel, and uh, also PayPal if you want like to make a one-time contribution. And I have some stickers on eBay if you want to do that as well. And kindly subscribe, resubscribe because YouTube doesn't like this kind of talk. When you tell the truth, YouTube doesn't like it. I guess uh, so what happens. Marcus Conti reporting.